Good morning on day three of our cruise here on Celebrity Apex. My excursion is starting at 7.15, I have to meet for that. The system is clima. Drops down the temperature of the bus per the outside temperature, you know what I mean? the original Olympic Stadium. You can see the entrances right over here. And uh, you can see this bowl shape here. This was the stadium. So there would have been folks all around uh, seated where they could watch. And then you can see the running field there in the middle. This is where they would do a lot of the uh, marathons. They would do all of the races back and forth uh, across the stadium floor here. But that was all done here inside this original Olympic Stadium and then we'll look back over here uh, and you can see some of the other ruins of Olympia and these were all different facilities uh, we also got to see Zeus's temple over there it is super crowded I feel like everyone from the ship all 1900 passengers came out here so it's hard to like get separated from the group uh, and and actually vlog a little bit and tell you a little bit about it um, it's pretty interesting. It's not exactly what I thought. I thought there would be more to it, uh, but it is pretty cool to see here uh, the original Olympic Stadium. We also got to see one of the cooler things that we saw back over there was where they actually light the torch. Each Olympic game, you know, they do the torch. Um, what am I trying to say? Where they carry the torches through the cities and they take it all around the world. And uh, finally it's lit in the main torch of the host city on the night of the opening ceremonies. Well, the torch is always lit here in Olympia because this is the original home of the Olympics. So I'm gonna put that footage in right now. You'll see there, uh, they actually placed like a magnifying glass of sorts there on the rock and they use the sunlight to actually ignite a fire. Uh, and they have a fuel source there, of course. And then they will fly that flame all over the world so that it can be uh, paraded throughout the world in celebration of the Olympic Games. And that uh, torch lighting goes back to the origins of the Olympic Games here in Olympia. So of course, over the many years, a lot of the stuff here has been excavated. Uh, there's still a lot back up this way. This would be the southern side of Olympia that they've still not gotten to yet. Uh, but it's still pretty impressive to see all the different ruins in Olympia. Um, we are about 40 minutes from the port. I'll say that here. It is about a 40 minute bus ride each way. The bus was packed. It was a huge motor coach and it was packed full of people. And like I said, I feel like everyone from the ship has come on this same excursion. There are variations of the excursion. Some of them are full day and you'll get to walk around and actually get more in depth. The one I'm on is actually just, I think like a half day. So we're only here for a bit, I think an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half we have here at the actual uh, archeological site. Then we're gonna go over to the museum here in a bit and I think see some of the artifacts from the Olympic games, uh, from Olympia, some of the stuff that they've probably extracted here. So you'll get to see some of that in just a minute. Um, 
and then we'll have a little bit of free time in the town of Olympia itself. But it is beautiful here, I will say that. Um, just the landscape, I mean, you can see behind me and you can see in some of the other clips that I've inserted here. So a couple of real quick interesting facts here about the stadium, you can see there, uh, see those stones right here? This is actually the finish line. So this would have been where they ran across and came across the finish line, hopefully for the win. And then down there on the other end, you can sort of see something similar. That's a starting line. And there are actually two different starting lines that you can't really make both of them out down there from this angle. Uh, but the men and women's starting line were different. They were 100 feet apart. The women started a little bit closer to the finish line than the men did. And then if we look at it from this thing, we can actually see the entrance here through this little tunnel into the stadium. So I'm sure it looked a lot different back thousands of years ago. Uh, but this is the origins. If you're a fan of the Olympics, this is where it began. Right here in Greece. So this here uh, was the Temple of Zeus, and Zeus, of course, being the prominent god in Greek mythology. Uh, this temple is elevated a little bit. You can see if you look around the surrounding areas, it's up a little bit higher. Uh, it's sat in just the perfect location for the sunlight to just illuminate it all throughout the day. Uh, but parts of this temple was actually reconstructed a little bit. Uh, it was, uh, you can see it's a little bit more put together than some of the surrounding ruins. Uh, but it was done for the 2004 Olympic Games, which were held in Athens. So it's sort of like the home games come back to Greece, come back to this area. So, of course, that was important to the people here that uh, the temple be redone just a little. To give you a little bit of wayfinding, right there where all those people are gathered, that's where that stone is where they like the Olympic torch. So you can see it's sort of in the middle of everything. The stadium is right back there where we just came from. You can see the tunnel. And then back behind me here is the Temple of Zeus. So, sort of in the middle of the all, everything happening, but you can imagine what a big event that is. Every four years, or every two years, when they're going to have an Olympic Games held somewhere, they come here to light that torch, to then send it out all over the world in celebration of those Olympic Games. So they came and did the same thing they did the other day, and they said it should be working now. But if not, they're going to replace, uh, I don't know, they're going to replace parts of the window, mechanics of the window. So I did tell them I would be willing to move because all the rooms near me are empty. And I purposely picked this room for that reason because there's no one around me. So it's very quiet. Um, but they weren't keen on that idea. They would rather come replace the whole window. Uh, and kick me out of the room for a while um, then just let me move down the hall or something so I'm just glad it's fixed hopefully it works now for good um, but it is a nice day glad to be back on the ship though um, my excursion in Olympia was okay uh, but it's not my favorite thing I've done in Greece it was just so many people because uh, here in the port we're in the port of Catacolon that is the only thing pretty much to do in this port this is an industrial port you can see out the window uh it's just a boating town there's just you know the port shuts down the port area the immediate port area as soon as the ship leaves there's 
not a city here. So Olympia really is the only thing to do here at this port. But it's about 30 to 40 minutes away and I think everyone from the ship went there. So it was packed today. So um, yeah, it was okay, but I wouldn't do it again. It was fine. I'd never been here before and it was nice to see, you know, the birthplace of the Olympic Games. And probably if I was a more of a fan of the Olympic Games too, it probably would be more interesting as well. But maybe it's something you want to try if you're ever on an itinerary that visits Olympia. see a lot of people coming back now it is almost two o'clock and all aboard time is 2 30 so a steady stream of people coming back giving you the view this way beautiful day here there's a light breeze blowing it was actually chilly this morning I actually needed a jacket which I didn't have but suffered through It's now been several hours since the last time I talked to you all, uh, and not a lot's happened. <laughs> when I got back on the ship, I laid down to take a nap, and then I ended up going to get some food. Uh, I ate a lot of food today, more than I wanted to. I think it's just because I didn't sleep well. My body was like, you need energy, you need energy. And then I walked all over Olympia, and then I came back, and I had quite a bit of food. I went down to Cafe El Bacho to get some of the little pastries they had, and they had my favorite. It was the pear tart. I love that. So I had some of that. And then just now I went up to the pool. My first time ever getting in the main resorts pool, the big pool there on uh, the main deck. A beautiful evening. It was crisp and cool, so I thought the water was gonna be too cold, but the water was actually warmer than the outside, so it was very nice. I was the only one out there, not even many people on the deck, so it was nice to swim around and enjoy. And then now I've been getting ready, got the window open over there. We finally got it fixed today. They came up and fixed it again, and they said if it gives me trouble again, that. They'll come and replace everything. So fingers crossed that it stays um, operational throughout the rest of the cruise. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to head down to dinner in the main dining room. I'm going to be in the Tuscany restaurant tonight. And it's been a, a good day, you know. My excursion wasn't my favorite. Olympia wasn't my favorite. I wouldn't be seeking out to go there again. But it was still a good day. So that's two days of our trip. And I'm going to end this video here. But make sure you come back for the next daily vlog when we cover Athens. We're going to be in Athens tomorrow, so we're going to be running around uh, going to the Parthenon. Then we're going to be in Ephesus the next day, so we got a lot of content to come. So you want to keep watching these daily vlogs. Let me know if you enjoyed it in a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And until tomorrow, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.